ship water fight. <laughs> Let's do it! It might be fun, come on! Whatever. <laughs> B is mine. That's the correct usage of the past tense. <laughs> so, ship water fight, huh? Yeah, let's do it. Could be interesting. Splish, splash. I think it's both explode immediately. <laughs> I guess they're kind of water capable. Wow. Well, the, the bluey. The, the missiles are pretty powerful even against the ship. Yeah. I wonder if that, if you just have that same ammo in every fight or if it... I think it regenerates. Does it regenerate? Yeah. I think the missiles are infinite, aren't they? They're just your B button with that. Uh, no, there, there was ammo down there, it was just a lot of uh, it. I'm talking about the A and B combo. Oh, I didn't even try that for the ship. Yes. Missing out. Like I have this now, but I also thought that before. <laughs> and then you came I've back got, and took the B and the I again. I've got one unit. Yeah. I'm building the ship, and that's it. Well, they're, they're, this is played out pretty interesting. Yeah. I mean, this is this that's... has been anyone's game until now, basically. Mm. I could. I really wish I knew what would have happened if my ship got on your. Base. I mean, we could test. What? Did that miss? Might have. It did. Well, oh. huh. Not doesn't seem like it's really worth your moves to do that. To I do mean, anything but move. If it hit, I, I think it's pretty worth it. It's like risk-free damage, but... Yeah. I mean, if you want to soften one up, maybe. Yeah. If you kill my bee dog, if it'll game over. If it'll game over, or if you have to take the base. I think for it doesn't game over, does it? I think it does. Does it? Oh, it might. I think it does. Can't remember. Even though you start with no units, so that's weird. Hmm. Would you rather test the park or the all unit kill first? Well, yeah, let's just do all unit kill. Okay. I'm not even going to take my thing out of the base. Your ship could get to him. B-Dog concedes. I'll shoot a little. <laughs> Doesn't 
pretend like he's seated. Uh, <laughs> oh. It's not it at all. Damage on you. We did that ship water fight earlier. Uh. That ship is so weird. Yeah. Huh? Guess it didn't care. I mean, I've got a unit in the base. Yeah, that's true. So that might. Also, I want to step on this thing and see what it does. I think... That's where it was, I think. Pretty sure. Maybe it only comes into play if there's a fight there? Or maybe it's on your turn it happens? Like, that'd be weird, but whatever. I am positive that's where it was. It was a pretty awful game to me. I don't recommend trying it. We agree it was probably the worst NES game we've ever played. Wow. Yeah. It's pretty bad. I mean, like I said, caveat, I haven't played Robo Warrior in a long time, but I'm not going to bother moving over one. Well, well, I need to take this out, because, I mean, you, you might need to get a unit on my base. I'm not going to build anything else. Nothing happened to that guy. Weird. Maybe it only lasts like a couple turns or something. Oh, this guy can actually kind of swim a little. <laughs> Fight of the ages. No fish. Wow, that takes a while with the sword. Oh, what's going on? Oh, it wasn't hitting you. <laughs> nope. <laughs> I guess you gotta get on the base. I mean, who knows? I might have to take, like, everything. <laughs> oh, jeez. That'd be the worst. I no. mean, it wouldn't, it wouldn't take that much longer to do that, but... That'd be weird, though. What if... What if that's, like, a med bay or something? that you shoot at your guys. Oh! Huh! Really? I guess it could be. It looked, yeah. sure looked like a mine. Yeah, that guy's hurt. <laughs> Did he say thank you? Uh, he said, Kora. I don't know what that means. Mm. Did it heal him? Could you tell? No, it didn't, didn't heal him. Weird. That's good enough. How did that welcome thing happen in the chat? Mm -hmm. Boys, like I said, I haven't played Robo Warrior since I was like a wee little grumble, but I rented it and I think I only saw two or like two or three screens in the game because I just couldn't progress at all. Was it like, a side scroller or? No, it's top down. Mm. Like you said, it, it looks kind of like Bomberman, but mm. I like there's just nothing. Oh, triplicity. Change the welcome message, I guess. Ah. Oh, look at that. Uh, I still want to know what this thing does. I wonder if I can shoot my own dude. Mm -hmm. well, I either missed or you can't. I get, I get like a, like, oh, let's see. Whoa! Whoa. Oh, look at you. Interesting. I, mean, I just want, I'm just gonna fire a few shots, and see how strong it is. It's, it's pretty strong. It's pretty strong. Yeah. Wow. Looks like he's got, like I've a got like, or something too. Uh, I've got like a, like a Mario Run meter. Oh yeah. Weird. Time. Oh, that reduced the time. Oh, I did? Think, it? Yeah. Okay, well, kill me. Well, he's got like a barrier. Wow, this one looks like some doing. Yeah. It's gonna hit like, to actually like... play through this game would literally take like all day. Well, I mean, even even if that guy's hard to hit, like once you get their down to their base, like 
Yeah, yeah. You're pretty much done. <laughs> oh. B. B. <laughs> what? I don't know. Okay. That's really weird. That sounds like a sound effect from uh, Warrior Land. Oh. He shot that out of his head. Whoa. That's a classic NES fire sound. Yeah. Wow. Whoa. Oh, it's a ship. What is going on? It's a satellite. I feel like you're evil. That is bigger than a satellite. Whoa! Whoa! I think I just dropped a space colony on your capital. <laughs> wow. I'm pretty sure you're evil. You would have done the same to me. Why? Yeah. Red, you just got smashed too. I'm so confused. I mean, it was a suicide mission. Oh, okay. Clearly. That's so weird. Oh, look at that title screen. That's a pretty good title screen. It's a great title screen. The letters oh. are so smooth. I like how the that very top SD, I think that's actually a word and not just portraits. It's like yeah, both. It's like looks like that. Kana yeah. and portraits. Huh. Smooth Pokeball coming up. Mm. That's pretty neat. That pop sound. And all of those like la la layers of of shading and depth on yeah. on on that main word there. Mm. Alright, time to go home. Uh, I have no idea what I'm gonna do now, but play my own secret cast. Oh yeah. If I had it, uh, I would. Play level three, damn it. You want to watch that? Try to get to the level get, two of that one watch, game. I have to watch the whole thing. Oh no! Yeah. No. Yeah. No. no. I don't have to watch the whole thing. It's a long game. So, I mean, this was this was cool, but I don't see it as something I'm going to keep because I mean, we can always play actually play actual Advance Wars. Yeah, I like I like the action combat in here, but it's, it, not, it's mechanically too simple to be really fun. Right, it's conceptually pretty great. Yeah, yeah. I, but I mean, there are better ways to spend potential Advance Wars time, and yeah. I've got Famicom Wars to be as it is. No. Yeah. So, um... But you're definitely keeping the H Hattori game. <laughs> no. I'm keeping the, the, the game of life or whatever the heck it is. Yeah, that was great. I mean, it's so stupid. There's like, you have no input yeah. over the outcome, basically. I mean, you choose up or down. But I could see like sometime in like five years we'll be like, you yeah. should play that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it is null anyway, so... Or B. Or B, or complete. B, yeah. I mean, I, I call it null. So, I mean, yeah. it's it's no it's of no detriment to me, and it could be it could be a fun, a, a hearty laugh, as the game is actually called, I believe. Yes. It'd be a hearty laugh some years down the road. Though, so would it be the same that now that we've already played it? No, but we can try to recapture yeah. the hearty laugh. Anyway. Alright, so Drum and Lynn are leaving. I'll see them out, and then I'll be back in a moment to play something. So, so polite. There's a couple things popping out that we didn't see while we were really? playing. One of them was a quite, like a silhouette question mark guy. Huh. Ooh. Weird. I don't know what I'm going to do with these games. Mm. I mean, we could have a contest for them or something. Mm, put them I'm sure in. we could find keepers, especially for this one. This one's a good game. The other oh, one. I'm sure we'll have people fill me now for this game. Yeah. Ah. Oh. Oh. All right. Good night, Baglogri. Good night. I'll see you in just a bit. Did you finish this water? Mmm. That's my god. Oh.
So, uh, Chet, what what do you think? Is this is this something that I should I should consider doing sometime again? I mean, I don't think I would spend more than like five dollars, but you know, if I saw a, an unidentifiable Famicom or Super Famicom cart, just grab it, stream it, see what it is. I thought I thought I thought it turned out pretty pretty well. Definitely things I did not expect. I'm, I'm glad Drum and Lynn uh, now live nearby because I don't think any of these would have been all that fun if, yeah. <laughs> if it weren't for multiplayer. What? Skygor is saying that uh, the mystery Gundams are you unlock with passwords you get from buying actual Gachapon toys. Wow! That's pretty, uh, that's pretty forward thinking. Yeah. That's like Skylanders crap or something mm -hmm. like that. Uh, yeah, we are, uh, we've been, um, we've been planning to, uh, get some Indian food ever since Drummond Lynn moved, uh, here, so, uh, we've been putting that on. I've never had Indian food, so they want to introduce me to it, which is, is, is weird because I'm the guy that likes spicy food, and they don't particularly like spicy food, but they like Indian food. So uh, I, I'm I'm curious to try that, but we've been planning to do it, so we're going to do that sometime this week. So what do we do for the last hour of the stream? Uh, I guess um, I guess I could always kick back with a um, little uh, Tetris Attack Jazz. I think that would work out as well as anything. I mean, granted, I would love to make some Final Fantasy XIV progress, but I don't think that's a terribly popular thing for me to do.
Oh yeah, Mega Man games can all be done under an hour. Can be done, being the key word. Let's get a little bit of that smooth jazz going.
starting in the thick of it. Oh, a five mover. I don't like that. We uh, we enjoyed all the games aside from uh, Ninja Hattori or however you say it. I mean the Gundam game in particular was a surprise. I mean it's a very competent uh, Advance Wars uh, uh, ripoff. Oh man, what am I gonna do? Maybe this makes more sense. Man, the odd number of turns is confusing me here because this is so symmetrical. So how could it be an odd number of turns? The um, before the Gundam game was people were calling it Ninja Hattori. It was a, a side scroller that was pretty awful. Um, we never got past the fourth level out of apparently like 16. I can't even imagine. And um, oops, I'm. Uh, then there are Hearty Laugh Life's Theater 2. Uh, that was, you know, basically the game of life. Um, and it was, there was, there's no meaningful player input there, but it was surprisingly fun. Sort of looks like something, but it's not going to work.
two ways to go about clearing it, huh? Solve the right half before making moves on the left, huh? But it makes... It's this odd number of moves that's really throwing me off here. Because I'm thinking of this as so symmetrical. That's... Sawing the sides independently seems tricky, but... This looks like something, but then I'm left with the problem of the greens here. If only those greens had been swapped. Man, you keep saying you saying I'm almost I've almost got it. I'm I'm struggling to see this odd number of moves is a is a major mental block here. Is this uh, talk of moving only the top part accurate? But if you only move the top part, then to make the odd number of moves work, then I'm assuming that means I move the lower two stars. No, I absolutely love the Tetris Attack music, but the Phoenix Wright Jazz is just an institution.
almost looks like a thing. Except that I don't think it is. Because those greens aren't going to pop. But I want to see what happens. Hmm. Man, I am not in the mode here. Five moves is so weird. If only there was something not symmetrical about this, other than, you know, the hearts and the stars. I don't, I don't think... Solving heart and stars in moves one, two seems... That seems too straightforward, right? I mean, there's no way. I mean, that... that, that they never want you to do the, do the obvious moves first. Obviously, not going anywhere with that. Man, this is a tough one to start on. Looks like that would be on to something if it weren't for the fact that it got rid of the light blues too early. Well, maybe that's... hmm... Couldn't be something like that, could it? No. Couldn't be. Mm, 
man. I am not in the mood. This is a hard one though. This looks beautiful, but... Yeah, I've tried flipping these. I mean, that looks right, but... What can I po What can I possibly do with an odd... No the odd-numbered move? on a symmetrical puzzle. I, that's, that's not processing right now. If anyone knows what the, if anyone can figure out what the non-symmetrical move is, that's what I'm blind to right now. Some move has to do something that breaks the symmetry, and I just can't see what it is. There are no symmetrical moves. That's so weird. So every move breaks the symmetry? I mean, I guess that... Two moves to one side. When you say two moves to one side, I'm assuming you mean like I move the same block twice. This isn't working. Two moves on one side, not going across the middle. I can't, it can't be that because it's going to get rid of a blue block soon I want although That doesn't work. I don't know what happened to the music. What happened to the music? There's dead space at the end of that. Or something. Hey, music, what's going on? One swap on each row. 
I did not see that hint. Huh. That makes things interesting, though... I'm guessing it can't just be willy-nilly any order. something? No, I don't think I have something because I can't. Or do I? Wait, wait. Oh my gosh. I don't really know what it did, but it's gone now. Some, something happened and it's gone now. It's gone. Okay, three moves. More my style. Okay, well obviously these purples are spread out pretty far, so that's an issue what needs solving. that purple that'd be one two three yeah I mean there's no way to get that one all the way over so they kind of gotta get spread apart somehow oh I would have much preferred to start on this puzzle Five greens. It's gonna have to be like a T shape or something. Man, none of these are anywhere near as hard as that first one. Shouldn't speak so soon. Hmm. Four green, three of everything else. Right, yep. Yeah, hey, Castlevania 64, that's a game I'd like to stream someday. Hmm. 
have to go horizontal, I think, right? two Castlevanias on N64 and the second one is really kind of just a sort of an expansion of the other Legacy of Darkness. Hmm. This one is odd to me. Feels like too few moves or too few blocks. Thank you. 
right here, everything is lined up as it should be. Or, I mean, uh, I mean, they're horizontally, they're lined up in such ways that they would touch each other if only they would fall correctly. the bottom row is going to be. I think the bottom row is going to be diamond. Then again, we're not diamond. I meant a uh, light blue. That doesn't make a lot of sense either. I have the the first version of Castlevania 64. I've not played Legacy of Darkness, but Drum has it. Um, I, I mean, I thought it was pretty decent, and the Dracula battle in particular was very impressive. See, in most scenarios here, I feel like moving something is moving pieces out of alignment with their other colors. Feels like a good first move. Moving out that star. Feel like that puts me right on the verge of something. But. It looks like something, but there's no move I can make there. Feels like a decent first move. Then I can't really see what other moves there could be.
might be a situation of they don't necessarily all pop on the last turn which happens sometimes not often try line the stars up what vertically I'm not sure what that gets me see what way I could line up the stars other than vertically, but wait a second. Wait a second. That looks like something. Wait. Oh, that's so close. That's so close. What, what am I missing here? So close. What goes wrong? Okay. I feel like that's the right track, but there's some change to the order of moves. Or something. Nothing different though. It really looks like it. It's just that that blue. Gotta get that. I mean, if that were to work, the blue would have to get under that somehow. Now there's not enough moves. Man, that, ah, oh, that's so close though. Yeah. That is so close. Oh, I kind of just want to watch it again because it's so beautiful. So beautiful because it's so beautifully close. It just it looks like that's on the right track, but I don't. If that is not it, then I don't know what modifications to that particular strategy could be that would make it work. That's so frustrating.
Ooh, uh, hmm. Tetris attack felt like a good idea. And it usually is. I don't know. Looks like a thing. Hmm. I like looking at those vertical slayer. Going to defeat me for tonight, puzzle. Wait a second. Oh, that almost looks like a thing, but it's not. Wait a second. No. Oops, I didn't mean to even have a button. Oh, hey, it's Rumble. I, I feel like all of a sudden I'm starting to see some things here, though. Let me show you, show you drum what looks really like something. Wait, no, it's not that. It's um, let's pull that out. Wait, no, how was it? There we go. This looks like a thing. But I don't think that's even related to the thing. I also like the idea of making the starts of columns with the blues, but it's not going anywhere.
top dark blue is definitely not a move in and of itself. And he thinks he's got it. Remember, this is co-op, so feel sh free to share your findings. On the right track with what? Making uh, columns out of the blues? Then what starts the reaction? I'm convinced that the top blue does not move. So see, this, this almost looks like something that's going to fall into place here. But it won't. I believe we might have to uh, call ourselves defeated on this puzzle for today. So let me record my password. We didn't make a lot of progress tonight here. But hey, every little bit counts. So F37G and and MC. F. Three seven G and and MC. Okay, let me say that. Thank y'all for stopping by, and um, I hope y'all enjoyed it. I know I did. The Famicom carts and all that. So, uh, not sure what we'll be doing next week, but uh, we'll figure out something. We always do. So, uh, good night, Bagwagery. Oh yeah, and if you missed it earlier, the Amazon link box is back. Um, the link to it is at the top of your page. If you have a bookmarked link to that from before, it's a different link now, so make sure you update that. Um, yeah, that's just, we get, you know, a uh, commission on whatever you buy from Amazon after you go through our link or use the search box there. At no cost to you is what we use to cover site costs, etc. So that would be really cool. No reason not to do it. 
anytime you go to Amazon, just go to it through our link. Um, and I, I think it stays that way for, uh, I forget how long. Like, you know, if you go back to Amazon again, then, you know, you, it still counts as us, you know, for like a day, maybe, something like that. But better safe than sorry. Go through the, you know, the, our actual link. Um, no reason not to. So, good night, Backloggery.